A dispute between a Colorado Springs mother and a local business is sparking conversations over ADA accommodations. Candor and my two other daughters just love sports. They were supposed to be at a week-long spring break camp at Soccer Haas. I said within the registration it includes an ADA uh, explanation about what their responsibility is mm -hmm. as a provider. Jennifer Lee's youngest daughter, Candor, is deaf. She asked the facility for an interpreter. And he said, okay, look, uh, we tried to recruit a high school student who already knows some sign language. And I was taken aback a bit by that. Lee says she even gave the facility a recommendation for a certified interpreter. He said, well, I got a quote from your agency and can you believe that it's over a thousand dollars? And I said, uh, yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, that's for a certified interpreter. The facility says it just wasn't possible to make this accommodation without causing a financial burden on them and having to change their current workflow. They told us they couldn't give us somebody all day long. They could give us somebody for two hours at a time. So every two hours we would need to switch camp. We would need to switch interpreters. Anita McCurdy with Soccer Haas says if they would have had more time to plan, they may have been able to make that accommodation. They say they fully support people with disabilities. We were able to accommodate for autism and some to metabolic issues with some of the kids and their diet, um, some learning disabilities, some behavioral issues. We would love to accommodate kids. The ADA Center here in Colorado Springs says if an accommodation request would drastically change or impact a business's normal operations, then they may not be required to fulfill the request immediately. They would still have a responsibility to try to provide some sort of effective communication. The facility says they did try their best to hire an interpreter for a reasonable cost, but ran out of luck after reaching out to the community on Facebook. We want to make sure that the community knows we would love 